So in this video, I wanted to spend some time talking about pens from India. Over the past years, we spent a lot of time talking about Japanese pens, and then lately we do some talk about Chinese fountain pens, but I haven't dedicated as much time talking about pens that come from India. Now, a lot of that is because the pens are harder to find in the US, and you don't have specialty retailers focused on Indian pens and things like that. But I've been trying to track them down as much as I can and just you know, kind of learning what's out there and getting a feel for the pen culture in a different country. Here are some pens that I've been using over the past couple months, some of them for uh, over a year now, that uh, I think are interesting or notable or just sort of, uh, sort of like something you'd want to check out if you're curious about pens from different countries. I think it's a pretty good overview of some of the major players. We have uh, Cello, uh, Reynolds, Flair, Penta uh, Link rather. Uh, so th these are definitely popular brands from what I could tell. They may make a lot of pens. They have websites you can go to and navigate to get a feel for what's out there. You won't always be able to buy the pens that you find on their website. Some of them are just not available on eBay or Amazon, wherever you're buying the pens. But uh, there's a pretty good match between what's out there and what you could find for a, uh, a relatively reasonable price once you get over shipping. Obviously, it'll be a markup versus what you're paying in country, but uh, I found that generally be worth it. So again, random selection, and we'll jump right into it. I have some ink samples here or some writing samples I did. If you want to go through that, uh, you could just kind of pause or rewind to this uh, <laughs> rewind to this point if you want but generally speaking we're looking at i tried to get blue ball points if possible not everything was a true blue sometimes there's a couple colors that are black uh, i did sneak in a rollerball or two like the reynolds trimax but uh it seems to be most of what i could find were ball points i didn't really get into the pricing but uh you know 10 pens for 100 rupees one for 12 one for 50 uh that's fairly typical pricing. It's not what you would pay from coming from another country, but a lot of times the pricing is on the packaging so you can get a feel for it. So go over here and here's a newer one I've tried out. I don't think it's a newer pen, just newer for me. It's called the Cello Techno Tip. It's a 0.6 millimeter ballpoint. It uses a needle tip design. That's very popular with the pens that I've been able to find in India. Again, I don't wanna speak to all Indian pens. I don't want to generalize like that, but from what I found, there's a lot more needle tips than I would have expected. This is a stick ballpoint, has a rubberized grip. It has a very slick grip. It almost feels like it's leaving something on my fingers, which I strongly, strongly don't like, but it's a nice writer, very smooth. I think one of the key points you'll find throughout this video is that the standard ballpoints like this, it may look and it may be an inexpensive pen, but they're really nice writers. You're getting not quite Jetstream level ballpoint ink, but you're getting a very high quality, very smooth ballpoint with a really nice coloring and good consistency. And you're getting uh, a lot of ink. This thing, is obviously quite new, but you can see it is fully filled. And this is how it comes. Like, uh, they're not joking around. You're getting a lot of writing out of this. Sometimes you see them, you know, more popular companies that I would use, you know, they might fill it up 60% of the way. This one is filled up, you know, a good 80 plus percent of the way to the top, which is which is very cool. Cello is one of the, uh, the larger players from what I could tell. They have a lot of pens out there. I think it's a pretty good representative of what you're, what you're getting. Uh, I'm not blown away because I don't really like the grip, but this is a really high performing pen. And it's working out quite well. You know, you'll see some issues like this piece is plastic and it's, it's a little scuffed up or dirty and there's some scratches. That's fairly common. And I don't know if that those are just the pens I'm getting or if uh, for a pen for this price, you're not expecting the same level of like polish or perfection you get from a pen that costs you know five or six times more it's really hard to say but a lot of them have a little bit of a uh, kind of uh, like a a, a a gel or something on it probably it wasn't perfectly cleaned i don't really know but sometimes uh i definitely feel like there's something a little bit of oil left on this probably just from the manufacturing process 
not a major deal, but stuff like that is, is common and you don't see it happening from a, a Uniball or something like that. Next up is this one. This is called the Flare Clickers. And this is a really nice, again, when I say really nice, I'm not trying to say it's like, uh, you know, all metal executive, or whatever, but I, I really, it's, it has a solid design, a metal clip that works well. It has a, a grip that it, it almost looks 3D printed, but I'm sure it's not. But I like the grip. You see the sticker was misapplied. So it has a little bunching here, which is, you know, easy enough to fix, or you can remove the sticker entirely. That's not a problem. But I, I really like this one. This is uh, one of my favorites. It's just a nice day-to-day -day retractable ballpoint, very good blue ink, solid writer, clearly a ballpoint. Take it apart, has a nice spring in there, a ton of ink, and uh, really smooth. So I don't know, when I use a pen like this, I'm just like quite happy with the results. And yeah, you know, the body isn't as nice as a Jetstream Sport or uh, you know uh, uh, something like a Juice Up or something like that. But it really does the job, and it's very reliable. Has a pretty nice click, and it, that has a really good, highly legible blue ink. Maybe a little dark. You know, it's not fun, but just if you wanted a reliable day-to-day -day pen, I feel like this is uh, one of my favorites. So this is the flare and the, the pen is called the clickers i think it's sold in a 10 pack uh next up this one this is the reynolds trimax for me this is a very similar pen to a uh, pilot v5 or v7 like a precise or a high tech point has a uh, pretty similar look to it with the clear frontier and the sort of uh you know the sort of uh, the work here on the plastic again needle tip this one is a rollerball, so you see it has a very clear rollerball, rollerball ink. Rollerball ink. The uh, the blue is more greenish and not quite as dark as the ballpoints. Uh, this one's sold as being refillable, but it's similar to the Pilot Precise or uh, you know like a uh, a Vision Elite or one of those pens where, sure, like <laughs> you could refill it by throwing this whole component out and buying a new one but you, uh, you can't refill this piece the way you would with a high-tech point. But the body component and the cap can be reused. Uh, for me, this is a uh, very high-quality rollerball. I'm not exactly going to throw out my high-tech point, but for me, this is uh, pretty much on par with a lot of the Japanese rollerballs I've been used. So out of the pens here, this is the one I think that comes closest to being something that you would expect to see in like a... Uh, just a, a standard stationary store in the US or Europe, whatever. This one, if it was sitting there right next to it, right next to the, you know, a pilot or a brand that I'm more familiar with, you would be, uh, you would grab this one and not really think it was any, any better or worse. There are some higher end pens. They're not quite as easy to find, at least as a US buyer. But this one right here is the, uh, it's called the Hauser, which is a, a German We've covered this on the channel before, but it's a German or formerly a German brand that's now based in India or an Indian brand that has a German name. It's sort of unclear, but they talk about having a, at one point being based in Germany. So the, the pen brand is the Hauser, the pen is the Jade. And we see here a uh, really nice styling here, really nice, clean, almost like a, uh, a Lamy type styling, metal barrel, metal front piece, metal clip the clip is integrated into the top button again we see uh it's just a really nice stylish piece pretty good click to it the full body is rubberized which personally i don't like but i know a lot of people do like the full rubberized grip it's kind of a 90s thing to me or at least the early 2000s it feels a little dated but it's a great looking pen it uses hauser's ballpoint ink which is extremely high quality as good if not better than the rest this is refillable, and uh, so this is a uh, more expensive pen. This one would sell for, at least according to the packaging, 100 rupees, which is, uh, you know, the same price as 10 of one of these pens. So if you want to find some higher quality pens, they're definitely out there, and uh, this one's quite nice. 
again, if it didn't have that rubberized area and it was all metal, I think this would be a, a really nice pick for me. Okay, now I want to get into some of the uh, older ones. At least these are ones that have been available for a very long time and I've discussed, most of these I've discussed on the channel before for at least a few minutes. Uh, there's the Nataraj, I think that's how you say it. Mist, this is a uh, one of the lower end ballpoints. Again, but it's a great writer. It's, uh, I forgot the pricing on some of these old ones. I bought them a long time ago, but this one is, it's a really small, cheaply made, no metal components, but, but again, great writer, highly reliable. And it's type of pen that you might buy, that at least I might buy a 50 pack of, and just, you have one wherever you need, you're just all over the place. Uh, I really like these. I think it's kind of got a fun old school look to it and it really does its job quite nicely. So I wouldn't write these off. And of course, uh, Nataraj is a, usually at least in my estimation or like the way I think of it is it's a pencil company. They have a lot of pretty good wooden pencils. So I wasn't familiar with their pens before buying this, maybe uh, again, a year, 18 months ago. The Link Glisser, another stick type pen, kind of has a Uniball Signo type vibe, another ballpoint. Uh, yeah, it's just a solid blue ballpoint. With this one, the, the front piece tends to loosen up over time, which I find to be annoying. Has sort of a plasticky look, but no problems with this one. It's very reliable. And uh, Link makes a lot of solid pens. It's one of the, from what I could tell, the more popular Indian pen companies, at least the more at least the better marketed. And we'll come back to Link in a few minutes. Cello Super Glide. This is another uh, stick type or capped ballpoint. This one I was only able to find in the light blue, but it works really well. It's a little bit wider than some of the other ones. It's a pretty good pen. I wouldn't go out of my way to find this one. This has that issue where this rubberized grip is really slippery and it makes my fingers feel oily after touching it. So uh, I'm just kind of not into this one, but. Otherwise, it's a really good pen. We see a slightly upgraded click there, kind of like a Zebra Sarasa with a spring in there, but uh, not super notable past that. This is called the Rorito, and it's called the Jotec Classic. For me, it's very much a take on the Jotter. Uh, I think the Jotec or Jotec is kind of gives it away. Has this interesting flat button here. Uh, it is one of like, it kind of feels a little cheap. It's all plastic except for the clip, which is metal. Uh, it's really lightweight and it's small, but it's a, a good rider. Not quite as smooth as some of the other ones. It has more of an old school feel. Uh, but if you want a classic style ballpoint, then this is an option. It has a slightly strange refill. Uh, yes, it's just like propeller thing on the front, which is what makes it turn. It's kind of like a uh, Parker style, but it's definitely not a Parker style. This long spread out spring plastic refill with a modified needle tip, not not a true needle tip, uh, just, just a weird, interesting pen that I wish it was made a little bit better. If the body was like a little bit higher end or if the, the refill fit a Parker style, I think this would be a lot more interesting, but it's not quite there for me. This for me is one of the true classics and one of my favorite Indian pens of all time. I think from the feedback I've gotten on the channel, it, it is a popular one that's been around for a long time. It's called the Reynolds 045 or just the Reynolds 45. Reynolds is a pen maker in India, just like they are in the US. Reynolds is one of the the original ballpoint pen makers. I don't know if it's the same company, if it's an offshoot, if it's a different company, I, that I haven't dug into, but this 045 is clearly old school in its design, that like brown font with the random italics. It's super old school and I really like this one. Just like if you're gonna buy one and you want an old school feel with a really nice writing ballpoint, it's nice and long and interesting looking. This is, uh, you cannot go wrong with this one. I think that's probably why it's been around for a very long time. It's kind of like, for me, has a, a real big crystal vibe, but with a uh, kind of a smoother, newer style ink. This is another high-end pen. This is called, it's from Link. It's called the Majesta, which I think is their higher-end line, and the pen itself is called the Monarch. 
all brushed metal. I guess it's brushed stainless steel. You click the top thing, it's got a nice smooth click and you see it has a uh, more standard style refill, like a, at least from a European or Japanese sense. Got a slightly strange sort of refill. It looks like a, a, a Chinese ballpoint. You would tend to see a refill like this, like a non-standard. Uh, when you take this thing out, I always forget. It's actually kind of weird to get back in. The spring doesn't want to go, so you have to try it. And then the refill itself, again, I always forget that, is a little bit oily, which is annoying. But if you don't take it apart, you'll never notice that. And this is just a solid ballpoint. It has a nice feel to it. It's a much high quality, much more high quality pen body than anything else here. The, uh, the Jade, the Hauser Jade comes close, but I think Link did a really nice job. And I've been trying to buy more of their Majesta pens because uh, they seem to be really nice in that five to $6 price range. This is the Cello Butterfly, Butterflow. Talked about this one before on the channel. It's kind of a lot like the uh, Cello Super Glide. Same thing with that oily refill. Uh, for me, I just need to not buy pens that have a rubberized grip anymore. Just not into it. Last, I wanted to talk about my two absolute favorites, and these are pens I've talked about on the channel multiple times. The first is the Link Pentonic. The uh, Pentonic is sort of like a sub-brand from Link. Like Link clearly makes it, that's the company. But when you see them talking about it, they usually just talk about it as the Pentonic. And this is a stick ballpoint, has really great ink. Very simple body. You could buy them in 10, 20, 50 packs. Easy to find in the US. They're sold on Amazon, uh, eBay, all that other stuff. Very smooth, really nice dark blue ink. Uh, I think in past videos I said this not refillable, but it is refillable. I just don't know that you could find the refills. Plus the pens are pretty cheap. So while it's nice to refill it, it might be easier just to buy more pens. Uh, my only problem with this one is it had the, cl the cap is a it's a friction fit, so it just kind of goes on and then it stops. It doesn't click or anything. Uh, I just, for me, I just like, I find it to be a little annoying. I never know if it's fully, fully on, but I've never had the cap fall off, so it works quite well. This pen is also sold in a retractable, so a click style that I've talked about in the past, and that's called the Pentonic V-RT. I would definitely highly recommend these. Lastly is the, I would say the Indian pen I've talked about the most on this channel. This is the Hauser XO. Uh, this is my favorite of all Indian pens. It is a stick style ballpoint capped. The cap clicks on. Thank you for doing that, Hauser. Really nice, smooth ballpoint ink. Not, man, this one's really close to like a jet stream quality for me. Really quite smooth. And it may even be up to snuff with the jet stream and some other modern ballpoints. Has that needle tip, which you have to be careful with that you don't put too much pressure on, especially if you're using a ballpoint, you know, to write on wood or as sort of as a replacement for a pencil. But uh, as long as you adhere to that and you're not too rough with it, it's a great pen. They last forever. It is refill refillable quite easily. You just unscrew the back, has that monster ballpoint refill. Starting to get a little progress on this one, which is nice, but you know, you'll be writing with this one for a very, very long time. So if you want to get a single Indian pen, just try it out. I would highly recommend this Hauser. Has a cool little X thing there, which is like slightly rubberized for, I don't know why, but it looks good. I think it's only sold in this color. At least that's the only way I've seen it. Uh, but I really like this one. I don't think it's sold as a click version. So that's just a really quick look at Indian pens, you know, it's hardly an exhaustive look. And I can't say that I have any real particular insights into the market, but I've been trying to track down some of them. I've had uh, what I think to be really good success. A lot of these pens are pens that I really enjoy using. And I use fairly often with the, uh, for me, the standouts are these ones right here. The Link Pentonic, the Nataraj Mist, the Flare Clicker, and the Hauser XO. I don't think you can go wrong with any of those. Really nice writers and very reliable ballpoints that you could find for a reasonable price, even after paying for shipping. You know, you have to wait a couple weeks, but uh, I've had really good luck with, with the purchasing and the shipping and all that. So 
If any I missed, please leave a comment below. I know a lot of people out there know a whole lot more about these pens than I do. So please leave me some suggestions and I'll do my best to try to track them down and do some follow-up videos. Thanks for watching.